For a decade, Joe's been eating 1,900 calories a day. I've averaged around 2,300. Quite a few of them donuts and burgers. How much do you think you weigh? Ooh, I think probably about 180. Ooh, more than 180. More than <laughs> Breathe in. Uh, should be around uh, 130, 130. 134, 135, 136. Oh, you just have to move it down one notch. 134. Wow. Oh, right on, yeah. We're both in our 50s, and I really don't think we look like different generations, let alone species. So how different are we? Just need for you to relax in there, sit still, no talking. Some of the simplest ways of assessing aging don't need specialist equipment. Oh, this is good. Balance is controlled by your inner ear. <laughs> <laughs> OK. As you age, ear structures deteriorate and your balance gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> One more. You can test it by standing on your weaker leg with your eyes closed. <laughs> How long did I make? 6.59 seconds. That's not very good. Not good at all. The average 55-year-old should manage eight seconds. Near down to, yeah, you're doing well for the average 20-year-old. Over 30 seconds most 20-year-olds um, can manage, but it's one of those skills that drops off dramatically. Um, I think you proved the point. Stop. <laughs> you can stop, yes. Yeah. Luigi's methods are rather more scientific. We did a range of other medical tests, including blood tests. Now he's about to give us our results. It feels a bit like being the headmaster's office, doesn't it? We're waiting for the results. <laughs> Will you get an A star? Will I get a B minus? Luigi's face tells me that what I'm about to hear is not good news. Total body fat in uh, Joseph is 11.5%. This is typical of a super athlete, you know, this 11% body fat, it's, it's very low for a 50, 54, 55 years old mm -hmm. man. Yours is 27.1% fat, third of your body's fat. Thank you <laughs> <laughs> for making that point so emphatically. Yeah. Um, and he's still not done stuff, talking about my there. fat. The abdominal fat is around 30%. Abdominal fat is really the bad guy. The higher the abdominal fat, the higher the, the risk of developing type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, no doubt about it. And it is also a risk factor for cancer. So basically, your cardiometabolic profile, it's, it's not good for your age. I mean, you know, I think, you know, you should do something to improve it. What we can say is that Joseph is not going to de develop cardiovascular disease. It's impossible to develop stroke, myocardial infarction, or heart failure. These three diseases are responsible for 40% of the death now in US and UK. No chance he'll die of that. I mean, one in a million. And if I were to go on to Joe's lifestyle? Yeah. In a year, you are gonna, you're going to be cured. I now understand what Luigi means. It is as if we were two different species. Joe's diet seems to be keeping his organs in pristine condition. My diet is undermining my health and fast. <laughs>